when I took my students during spring break to see Wicked or Phantom of the Opera, to have that experiential, to me, the classroom should be experiential, no matter what you teach. It's no matter if I, when I taught 19th century um, queer American literature, or when, you know, you teach hope fiction or fantasy literature, whatever the subject is, that there's always embedding. Maybe it's that I'm teaching podcasts that relate to those topics, right? Like what we're doing right now is a form of pop culture, which is why I'm so, you know, in love with sharing this because it, there isn't a cost barrier. And um, it, it excites me that you see and it excites me to know that you also um, think that there's more of this embracing now of pop culture methodology. Like, oh, teach Bridgerton in a Regency era course. Of course. Well, I'm repeating, of course. But, you know, it makes sense. Why wouldn't you teach what has become a fanfare in The White Lotus even, right? If you're teaching a noir course, I would teach The White Lotus. Um, you know, that you can have these quote unquote, high lowbrow, even though, like, I'm curious, is pop culture really lowbrow? It kind of seems that that's a misnomer.